Hi, my name's Tony, and this is My Life in San Diego. Well, I got to clean with my grandma. It's one of the many things I do. So, she's getting some jacket dry cleaned or something. And then, uh, and then after that, I get to go and get my passport. So I'm kind of excited about that. All right, I'm just leaving the post office right now. Submitted my application, got the photos taken care of. Um, it's $151 after tax, because there's like a $25 fee for the facility. The application itself is like $115, and then there's $15 for the two photos, which is standard. But um, four weeks, should take about four weeks, so about a month, maybe the beginning of September. I'll uh, have my passport in hand and, and then I'll have to hang on to it because I don't want to lose it before I go to Europe. But um, that was a very pain free process. I was really kind of expecting, you know, I think it's sort of natural with any sort of government agency that you're going to have some sort of problem. There's always going to be a hiccup. But uh, the process itself was very pain free. Um, I had the application filled out properly, I had all my paperwork ready. Um, and the lady was definitely happy that I had all my shit together. And she's like, you know, it's very easy to get a passport. However, people come in with nothing. And um, and she goes, then it can become a pain in the ass. So, cause you have to, you know, go back and you know, you just don't want to make multiple trips. So, uh, I even, uh, I even went so far as to photocopy my ID because that's what it said. You know, I needed to give a photocopy of my ID. And so she's like, she's like, okay, I need to photocopy your driver's license. She goes, oh wait, no I don't, you have one. So she was like, oh, nice guy. So anyways, uh, I earned, I think I earned a treat. So I'm gonna get a treat. Well, I'm heading out to Escondido right now for my game. Uh, it's just funny because there was the San Diego Sheriff's deputy uh, got on the freeway with me in Vista here we are in San Marcos where the traffic usually sucks, but I guess it's cleared uh, now. Uh, never mind, looks like it's gonna hit pretty soon. Anyways, uh, everybody, the sheriff drove by and everybody is crawling through, uh, was crawling through Vista at the time. And here we go, traffic. Um, but it's just funny, like the guy already passed, you know, just get up the regular speed because they were really doing like 55 miles an hour, which is ridiculous. Good job. Back. 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 You got it. Yeah, kid, huh? Get up. Ooh. Actually, we described this like this league is in between like high school varsity and like junior college baseball. Yeah. Ooh, catch your cutoff foul ball. Red basket. That sucks. I'm gonna get some Del Taco. I haven't had Del Taco in God, it seems like years now. Some little after game snack. Welcome to Del Taco. You'd like to have a monster chicken burrito tonight? Oh, no, thank you. Let me know when you're ready, please. I'm gonna probably regret this because I'm not really. I don't know. I didn't eat anything today, so I guess it's okay. It's my cheat meal. I just got them playing baseball too, so it's all right. And I got a medium Coke, so it's okay. The line. It's kind of busy, I guess. Anyone behind me? No. Oh, a couple cars ahead of us. I'll tell Tacos have this brick layout. It's kind of brings me back to um, living in Santa Barbara. We'd go to these adventures down to Ventura to go to Del Taco because it was the only one around they didn't have one in Santa Barbara so uh, my roommate and I would just be drive the 30 miles to go down to Del Taco some nights I guess we were jonesing for or something hey what's up guys um we just got back from my game we lost another one so now we're one in four I think last on Sunday I said we we're one in three or four last Sunday so but actually one in four now oh I'm tired it's like 11 o'clock or something, almost. Yeah, I gotta hit the shower right now. Uh, I think Warehouse 13 comes on again 
at 11 and I missed it at 9 tonight and, uh, and I really wanted to see it because they had a little crossover with uh, Eureka and Warehouse 13 so I'm going to make this real short um, so anyways you guys saw what happened today I got passport taken care of uh, took my grandmother to, to get her dry cleaning done. I gotta pick her pick that stuff up tomorrow She wants to get some stuff at Home Depot because she burned something again in the um, uh, on The stove top so we have to buy these new uh, like aluminum or metal uh, plates or I don't know the bowls or whatever um, for the burners and uh, uh, Sort of relax because I'm going to be kind of sore tomorrow. My back is really hurting for some reason. So, um, I, you know, I'm trying to go to the gym and, like, do a little cardio because I'm just a little out of shape. Um, anyways, um, I'm going to get going. Had a good night. We had a good game. Uh, it was a tough game. Uh, we lost. Uh, it was, like, 6-2. to two, But it was 4-2 to two most of the game. We, we fought pretty hard. But, anyways, it was a good game. So, we're 1-4 and four now. And uh, we got a game on Sunday. So this has been nice. It's a you know Sunday game, Tuesday game, and a Sunday game. Usually there's a Sunday game and a Wednesday game, or Tuesday Wednesday game, and no Sunday game. But we got a, a game on Sunday too. So it feels like we're playing a lot of baseball this week. So, um, you know, I went 0 for 3 again. Yeah, I hit a ball pretty hard to center field. Um, but uh, it's just the guy ran it down. It was a line drive pretty much. At, it was. I thought it was going to go over the center fielder's head, but it didn't. Um, it was actually a 34 inch bat that I used this time, so I might be switching to 34 inch bats. Um, something about, I think it's the weight just makes me slow down. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, uh, you guys have a nice night, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, so I don't want to be a creeper or anything, but um, I can tell in the rearview mirror the girl's pretty hot there. So. I'm not going to videotape her, that'd be creepy, but she's pretty damn hot. Just thought I'd put that out there. So girl in the red Toyota Camry, attractive girl, yes you are.